Hey everybody, it's MP4 Doggy from SlateDroid.com. We're going to be talking about how to get the Debian Linux uh, installed to your SD card so you can run it on your um, on your Eakin M001. Now, this also may work on your M002 and your M003, but I do not know because I do not own any of the, those devices. So if anybody wants to um, pipe in and tell me you know, if it works, that would be fantastic. But I'm sticking with the Eakin M001 because that's the tablet that I actually own. So you, you're going to have to go to our site, you're going to go to the form, you're going to go to Eakin Android Tablet, the M001, Eakin Firmware, and the Eakin M001 Debian board. Now this is going to take you to where you need to be. Then you're going to look for the section that's called Debian on Eakin Install Guidelines for Windows. Now this was compiled by a very, um, by a member named um, Rug Halt, and I used this and I got it to work so it was fantastic. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to just kind of scroll all the way down here and then you're going to grab this file right here the Debian install zip file and now I will put that to the board put that on the board so you guys can get it uh, and then um, you know that way you don't, you don't have to install it from here but but it installs but it downloads pretty fast so don't worry about that so once you have that and you unzip it or unpack it you're going to be left with these two files this one and this one now these two files um, now one's graphical and one's text-based. Now the Flashstone one is text-based. The Debian install is graphical. Now I couldn't get the graphical one to work, so um, be careful if you decide to use this one. All right, so it says warning: all selected uh, SD card data will be wiped. But that is kind of a understatement because you have choices of of all your drives up here. So if you actually choose the incorrect one, like if I choose my almost 300 gig drive and do that it'll wipe it and I've already done that before not using this I, w I was using Linux and I accidentally uh, wiped my Windows partition um, so be careful so I know that I have a 2 gig flash drive in there and then I'm going to install it okay so it can't find the uncompressed file so the reason why is because I don't have my unpacked Debian image file here for this to find but I do have it here. So to get that, you have to download it from our site also. So you go to downloads, and then it's right here. So it's easier just to get it from here if you'd like. Click here, and then you would download this file. The, uh, this is version two. So, and you download it. Now it takes about two to three minutes for it to download, but once it um, downloads, go ahead and unpack it. I used, um, Tug zip, but I think you can use um, WinZip uh, to, to 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 unpack it. So once you unpack it, it it's, it starts off like this as um, as as this file size. But but when you're done, this is the file size that you should end up with. Okay. So we're gonna take this and drag this over into this this folder. So now that we have it, so now we're gonna see if we can use our our uh, graphical install. See, now I can get this to work. Now maybe you'll have better luck. So what I'm going to show you how to do is do it from the command line. So um, here we go. So as I said before, I could not get it to uh, run from the graphical installer, so I had to use the command line one. So after I opened the uh, image file um, and it had uncompressed, this is the image size that you should have. All right, so let's go to our command line. So once we're in our command line, we are going to go to where uh, the flash null directory is. So I have it in um, deb1. So now that I know that it's in deb1, I, I have everything already in there. So here's my deb1 folder. So I have my graphical, which I don't need, but my flash null, which is my, which is my command line uh, program. And then I have my uncompressed Debian um, uh, file. So it's easier in this case to copy and paste. So I'm just going to go back to our website and I'm going to grab this command first. Now it's important to grab this command first because this is going to tell you exactly where your SD card is or where flash null says that it is. So we're going to right click up here, go to edit and then paste. So I know that it's not 0, uh, 1, 2, okay, because these are all gig. But I do know that I have a, a two, two gig uh, SD card in there, so I know it's going to be uh, number three. So now that I know that it's number three, I'm going to also go to my copy and paste uh, feature, and I'm going to grab this command right here. And now that I've got 
grab that. I'm going to put that right here. Now, even though I grab that, it's going to take a little fixing just to get it to work. So we're going to paste that right there. So first of all, we want to remove uh, this part right here. Okay, because that's how it should look. It should be flash node 3, because that's my SD card uh, location. And at the end of this file, the, it should have .image, because it's an image file. Now, once you do this, you're going to see the magic happening. You're going to see it start to actually load um, the Debian onto the SD card. So here we go. So now you can see that it's starting to load it up there, right? You can see it's it's running, it's saying load file content. So now everything is working fine. So that's how you know that it's working. So if you need to recap, just rewind this and, and go back. And remember that um, make sure you choose the correct um, location of where you're installing this file because it will wipe it clean. I have gone through this and uh, I wipe my, um, my Windows drive from, from Linux, not using this. I, I used another program and it wiped it clean. So just be very, very careful when you are doing this. Now next, now once this is installed, I will uh, show you what it looks like when we actually um, load this onto the M001 so you can see what it looks like. And also um, give you a couple of quick tips on how to get things set up now. Um, thanks to Jacob019 who, who has really been at the forefront of this and really getting it working. If you guys see him on the board, you know, um, thank him because it, I'm sure it was not easy to get this working. So as you see, it's it's still uncompressing. So I'm just going to let it uncompress um, while it uh, fixes the uh, or puts the information onto the SD card. Okay, so, so um, now we're done. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, load it onto our Econ M001.